One of the things, the interesting things about this collection, and it's something that I never intended, was there's a great big theme running through it, which is dogs. And it's completely surprised me when I looked at them all and realized how many of the stories were either about dogs or had dogs in them in some way. Lady with a little, uh, Lady with a little dog, of course. But also the other Chekhov story, Kashtanka, which is about a dog um, who is picked up, a homeless dog, who is picked up by a, a clown uh, and an animal trainer for the circus and is trained um, to take part in the circus show. This story is completely unique because it's actually told through, by the dog and the whole uh, story is seen through the eyes of a dog, um, which makes it sort of something quite special in Russian literature. It's a story which all Russian school children know because it's on the school syllabus in Russia, but hasn't been widely translated into English. So it made a sort of lovely counterpoint to the lady with the little dog. The other story which has um, dogs in it um, and so fits this, this theme of, of dogs in Moscow um, is, is, I think, perhaps the last story in the collection, which is called Underground Sea and is a wonderful story. A contemporary writer called Maria Galina um, writes about a man who uh, falls asleep on the tram and ends up in a, a sort of wasteland of industrial Moscow, a part of the city he doesn't know at all, and he has some really frightening, bewildering experiences there, and one of them is being chased by, by dogs. And stray dogs are, are, are quite a thing in Moscow. I remember when I lived there myself being chased by stray dogs through the dark streets and I had loads of sympathy for this character, completely lost, looking at these um, darkened buildings and, and hearing uh, um, the dogs, see, seeing a pack of dogs, wild dogs. It's, it's a collection which is really close to my heart because I spent five years in, in Russia, in Moscow, living in Moscow, and it's one of the places that I think of as home. And um, so I hope some of that is um, conveyed to the reader. My, I have a complete love of Moscow in all its colour and all its um, slightly, um, slightly sort of tawdry glory. It's a mixture of all sorts of things. It's wonderfully glamorous in places and incredibly seedy in other places and very, very dirty, but also very, very, um, has extraordinary insights and wonderful moments in Moscow kitchens that I've spent. So I would, I really hope that that's transferred and that the reader really senses that my love of Moscow when you read the collection of short stories.